there is the battery box and um it's a ryobi ci already where it locks so i'm gonna pop this one and uh we are in and this is how the batteries are sitting you got this door open here all right so let's see what i'm trying to do here if it's gonna work so i'm just trying to design something here so i'm not this is a diy project so we want to set up a thing that like a shelf so it's gonna go right into these grooves here so pardon me i'm not like a carpenter like i said i can work with tools but there you go ha we got it in so this is how i'm gonna set it and this door is gonna go like this locked there you go and it's gonna look like this <clears throat> Excuse me. I can able to set up like the inverters here or the, in the charge controller. I will show you what I'm going to do right now. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Well, guys, these are the equipment here I'm going to be utilizing. So take this equipment and set them right inside here. Maybe I'm going to separate the battery side plus the inverters so if they have to breathe they can breathe or i can come from here bring in my wires instead of drilling another hole on the <clears throat> on the wood or i can come from the sides right here the bottom corners to uh bring the batteries to the charge controller and inverter right here so I was <clears throat> gonna think that I'm gonna use it inverters at the bottom so they can able to breathe but having them on the top here I can able to pop this cover or I can able to open this door right here so it's just off I'm trying to do right now the uh, the design and the management I'm gonna be uh, working on it to make it really beautiful and and nice nice and beautiful so let's see <clears throat> what we can do here That's, those are the batteries there and we're gonna go and set up this big boy or this bad boy here okay. yeah. all right so now it's in there so I can able to locate it this way so the battery cables can come on the corner on this groove right here or i can go horizontal having horizontal that would have been cool to have it this way but the reason why i don't want it horizontal it's hard for work for me to work with the wires there i can still do that but when let me spin can still do that but let me spin this one to show you why the transformer is back here so the fan blows the air from this side so it vents from this side so it's a good idea to leave it this way and screw it <coughs> excuse me to have it this way and have the charge controller have the charge controller that way so by doing so and that would be probably a perfect way of installing this um, this system so I can able to incorporate some of the other stuff in here so I want to separate the uh, charge controller, um, the batteries and the charge controllers and the other stuff. Or I can go this way. But now I'm running into the same problem now because I have to drill some holes here where the wire is going to be down. Going down to 
the batteries if I decided to go this way it would have been perfect but the thing is gonna be upside down I have to go on the other side here to look at the the meter the screen that's what I was, what I was trying to say so by having it this way I don't want to put any other holes here or I can bring it this way down this way and I have to have wire coming from here which is the uh, the AC in okay and uh, that's to travel back the other way or maybe drill a hole underneath there okay um, and uh, battery cable is gonna come from that corner so guys this is just the way I'm trying to set up this thing I'm trying to make it really simple and easy the battery is gonna be this way and that's exactly so it's gonna look just like that so the battery is gonna be here and I'm gonna try and put some of other stuff there trying to make sure these batteries are stable I have to find a way but I'm um, thinking about having the other extra board I might probably put in place down here to strengthen the foundation here so it can be solid not being saggy like the way you've seen it right now so this is how the battery is going to look like and this is how the entire system going to look like so I have enough room to do whatever I want to do in the future so tell me what you think this is just like trying to illustrate how I'm going to do this entire install and I think it can handle it pretty well because when I bolt this one screw it all the way down screw the charge controller all the way down and that means um, I can able to access it here and I can able to put some of the, the meters we are probably here and do a wire management all the way like go back into my playlist and see my 12 volt portable things and I'm gonna be using these guys So it's a master force. I haven't made a video yet on this. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, I'm going to use these guys to work with. And uh, this is what it is. I'm going to be using these guys to drill the holes to make some provisions for all the uh, devices. See that? It's going to be the cover. And I don't want to ruin that. And we're going to take a, a perfect look of the system. And we're going to make sure we utilize it correctly. So I'm going to try and utilize this one and uh, maybe as a second shelf just so that they can sit on top of the battery for maybe for stability for the sake of it. Then I'm going to put probably a screw on the side here so that the batteries can be bouncing back and forth. But I'm going to come up with a strategy how to even get this batteries really stable okay stay tuned now we have a seven kilowatts here 3.5 3.5 and 2 3.5 so that's uh both of them supposed to be give me like uh is a eight eight point two eight point two eight point two that's sixteen point eight so with 24 volts i would have been tying this all in series okay negative to positive negative to positive 
negative to positive. So I would have one negative here, one positive here, but it's going to be a negative positive here. So now it becomes a 12 volt battery. So I have a negative here, positive here. So you're going to go on the bus bars. All right, stay tuned. So this is what I was going to do, trying to reinforce the base. I'm going to cut this board again for the second time, but I don't want to ruin the, the vent here. So I will try because I'm going to utilize this because that's another shelf underneath here. I can able to go right on the groove right here. It slides all the way and seat right here so I can elevate the batteries. So I don't know if I elevate the batteries, they're going to be able to sit or you're not going to jam up with this, but I'm going to cut the wood anyway. So get it here so I can stay away from the, the base, the foundation, because it's a plastic. So it's just a little inches they put here. And I don't know, they're not going to be strong to hold the weight that much. But if it sits on the groove here, just like when you have a refrigerator or um a drawer for your dress cabinet then that will be your perfect one thanks for watching like and subscribe gw solo usa this is our 12 volt portable system check out my playlist and make sure you subscribe and uh click on the portable look for the uh portable solar generator then you see all what i've been doing planning and uh finally it's coming to to pass so everything's gonna work well so I can able, even able to put two inverters here if I wanted to. We have the capability of doing that. So I can just have to flip this thing over so that the battery terminal is going to be on the front. So I can have two bo uh, both inverters here, which is going to be 2,000 watt inverters, uh, 2,000 total. So the only thing you cannot stack them. These are unstackable. Okay. So... I can put two inverters here. I can run things simultaneously. I can able to put another charge controller here because since a 12 volt is just a 30 amp, uh, this is a midnight solar kid, the kid. So I can put two inverters here and sit in right here, get a kilogram and all this thing gonna be really uh, steady. And I can just pull this rack anytime I want, like a shelf. And this kind of thing, I can take this entire entire rack out while the charge controllers i disconnect the wires underneath on the bus bars that i can take this entire rack out so this is what i'm gonna do i might probably take and put the other inverter here <clears throat> this is gonna act as a vent for the inverter to breathe so we can have all our outlets and uh whatever is gonna be the dc side gonna go and go around underneath here go to the battery the battery is gonna be just like this so it's going to be a perfect deal and tied to the breakers and to the bus bars all right thanks for watching like and subscribe jw solar usa in minnesota this is how i build my 12 volt portable system 12 volt generator solar generator